What's up old school homies? Let's talk about is the electric skateboard the new wave of skateboarding? Yeah, if you could afford it. That's where we're at right now, to be honest. I watch Casey Neistat's channel and he's like a really famous YouTuber. I found him on the trending channel. He's always going to be on the trending channel because he gets a lot of hits. He works mostly in the movie industry, like stuff with cameras, skateboards, that's kind of his trend. So he rides a loaded longboard and I think those run around a thousand dollars. I don't know. You don't want to quote me on that, but over eight hundred dollars I think for one of those. And they came out with a smaller version. So that one's probably around five hundred dollars. Pretty sure it's not cheaper than five hundred dollars. So are these fun? Yeah, I've gotten to ride one. My one friend had one that he borrowed from some other girl whose <clears throat> dad owned the company. It wasn't the real brand. It wasn't loaded, but this one was legitimate. And it had like a remote control car, kind of little trigger thing, but no, no turning, just gas. Wireless. <laughs> it was cool. What was wrong with it? Okay, um, nothing. You could actually kind of break with it. As you let off the gas, it kind of had a little bit of braking force too. Not like force, but like resistance. Which is cool. Like normal skateboards don't have that. They just freewheel. So it's almost a little bit less dangerous because you get to have brakes on your skateboard to some degree not totally saying that's a feature but kinda is now those loaded boards like Casey Neistat has those pretty much have suspension like I said in other videos uh, boards are shaped like this and that's what, like when you hit a rock or something the trucks spread out farther it's like a shock absorber really you're just standing on a a leaf spring like your car has a leaf spring right you're just standing on that it's so ingenious I got to lo ride a loaded board but it was not powered by a motor and it was a really high quality board like the brand is a good brand let's just put it that way so they won't rip you off but it really who could afford like an 800 500 dollar skateboard maybe you should like Here's the problem. Where, where are you gonna ride it? That's the, that's the problem. You run out of places to ride it, honestly. Um, riding it on the sidewalk, it has a lot of cracks. Riding on the street, it's obviously illegal. Um, it's just like any other form of skateboarding, except for you cover so much more ground because you have a motor. So it's almost like having a jet ski, but no ocean. I've seen people riding them around on like the track at a high school. I see people still skating them at the beach. Like, you kind of need a little bit more space to ride one of those. Just throwing it out there. That's why they came out with the smaller one. And then now people are going to be able to not just have the longboarding version, they get the shortboard version too. So. I've seen Casey do reviews on other ones, and they're really just not as good as that loaded brand. I hate to be a brandist, but probably just go with that one. 